S-U-S. Behold, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion. In Jesus' name. Amen. Put somebody and say, May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion. In Jesus' name. Say it as you mean it. Put somebody and say, May the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you from Zion. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be saved for a moment, of God. I want to say cavalry greetings to you all in the precious and the excellent name of God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. I want to welcome you all to this last Friday night vigil in the month of June 2019, our month of divine solution. I want to declare to you tonight as uh, you have made it here tonight, God will intervene for you in Jesus' name and he will grant you your divine solution in Jesus' name. The divine solution you have been yearning for, I mean, that, you know, the divine solution for you, which you have been yearning for, God will grant you tonight in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Yes, I just want to say a couple of things so that you will understand why we want to pray. Because somebody's desire is going to be granted tonight. If you are that person, shout hallelujah. Because when you talk of prayer, prayer is desires that you know, prayers are desires that are turned upward to God. Or you can say is a wish or desire turned Godward. You turn them to God. You know how God said in First Peter 5, 7, said, cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you. So when you cast your desire, your concern to God, it becomes prayer. Hallelujah. And the guess what God does with prayer? He answers them. Psalm 65 verse 2 say, Oh, you hear prayer shall all flesh come. Amen. So prayer in a nutshell is desire turned Godward. Hallelujah. Because somebody's desire tonight will be granted in Jesus' name. The Bible says Psalm 145, verse 16. It says, You open your hand. It says God opens his hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing. Are you a living thing? God is going to satisfy your desire tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. He will open his hand on your behalf tonight and satisfy your heart desire in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh -huh. The Bible says, may he grant you according to your desire. Psalm 20 verse 4. He said, may he you know, fulfill your purpose. That is exactly what God is going to do for you, for me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May he grant you according Whatever might be your desire tonight, God is going to answer you according to that our desire of yours in Jesus' name. If you look at that verse, uh, Psalm 145, in verse 19, the Bible says, He will fulfill the desire of those who fear Him. Being here tonight is part of the evidence that you fear God, you understand who God is in your life. He said, he also will hear their cry and save them. As you call upon God tonight, God is going to hear your cry in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Because we always say in this church, Proverbs 10, 24, and the desire of the righteous will be granted. And the prayer of the righteous will be granted. And the desire of the righteous will be granted. You may say, oh, okay, I'm not righteous, but guess what? You are righteous if you didn't know. I want you to understand you are righteous because the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, it said, God made you was without sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So I want you to know, I want you to understand and appreciate the fact you are the righteousness of God. That is why I rest my case tonight, because God will grant you your desire. And the desire, of the, righteous, the desire of the righteous will be granted. Hallelujah. And one thing about God, before you even turn all your desire Godward, before you turn it upward to God, God knows about your desires. Psalm 38 verse 9. The Bible says all our desires are before him. Lord, 
all, not just part of it, all my desire is before you. He said, and my sign is not hidden from you. Tonight, sign will be turned to sing in your life. I declare to somebody tonight, your money will be, down, will be turned to dancing. I say tonight, your mystery, whatever has caused you to be miserable, will be turned into a ministry for you tonight. Every test in your life shall become a testimony. The pain in your life shall be turned to power. Hallelujah. The anointing shall be turned to anointing. Sign into singing in the mighty name of Jesus. That is exactly, those are what God is going to do in your life tonight. Hallelujah. You know, it's a well for our sign. Don't, you know, I've told you, nothing catches your God by surprise. Whatever we are going to, God knows about it. How did I know? The psalmist tells us, Psalm 31, I believe verse 15. He said, my times are in your hand. My times are in your hand. <laughs> our times, our rising up, our waking up, everything about it, God knows about it. My times are in your hand. And I want you to understand, God is taking the best of you. You know, he said in Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the thought I think towards you. Thought of good and not of evil. Thought of peace and not of evil. To give you a future and a hope. That is a hope for a future in Jesus' name. So tonight, I want you to understand that your, our desires will be granted in Jesus' name. It will turn all those your desires into testimony for you. It will intercede for you and grant you the divine solution for, you, for which you are. And tonight being the last Friday night VG in the month of June 2019, according to Psalm, 9, Psalm 7 verse 9, Every form of wickedness that has either to be directed against us will be terminated. They will come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. And we still have two more days, apart from today, in the month of June. Uh -huh. Bible says that finishing is better than starting. The end of a matter is better than its beginning. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 8. You are going to end this month well in the mighty name of Jesus. So tonight, I want you to rest assured that every other desire of yours will be granted. If you believe so, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us rise up tonight and let us begin to pray. Amen. Let us begin to pray. Let us go to the heart of prayer. I want, you to, I want to give you two examples before we start praying. Jabez did what we are about to do tonight. Jabez called upon God of Israel. And he said, oh Lord, if you can bless me indeed, I enlarge my territory. And God granted him his desire. That is First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Anna went to God in Shiloh and cried to God, and God granted her desire. As you cry to God tonight, God is going to grant you your desire in Jesus' name. So Psalm 55, verse 17, let's begin to pray. Psalm 55, verse 17, let us rise up. Let us rise up, everybody, rise up. Psalm 55, verse 17, you are going to say evening and evening and noon. I will pray and cry out. And he shall hear my voice. God is going to hear your voice in Jesus' name. You are going to say, Oh Lord, hear my voice as I call upon you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, answer me speedily as I call upon you tonight in Jesus' name. Begin to call upon God tonight. Father, as I've made it here tonight, I pray my attendance shall not be in vain. I pray that tonight you will reward me with answer prayer. You will open your hand and satisfy my heart desire tonight in the mighty name of Jesus because it is written that the desire of the righteous will be granted. You have made you was without sin to be sin for me in order for me to become your righteousness to Christ Jesus. Father, I ask you tonight that as I cry to you, upon you tonight, incline your ears to me, Father. Incline your ears to me, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, incline your ear to me tonight, Father, and answer me speedily and answer me readily in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. I give you glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, it said in verse 27, it said, do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in the power of your hand to do so. God has the ability and has the capability of granting you a desire tonight. So why will he make us to wait till tomorrow? He himself has told us, do not withhold good 
from those to whom it is due, when it is in the power of your hand to do so. In the next verse, verse 28, it said, Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come back, and tomorrow I will give it to you when you have it with you. I want my miracle right now. I don't want to go and come back for it. If you are in, my same, in the same boat with me, I believe you want your own right now too. So you are going to tell God, Oh Lord, do not withhold. Do not postpone my miracle. Do not withhold. Do not postpone my breakthrough. Oh Lord, grant me my miracle. Grant me my miracle tonight in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, let there be no postponement. Let there be no postponement to my miracle tonight. Let there be no postponement to my breakthrough tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, grant me accordingly tonight. As I call upon you tonight, Father, grant me. Father, grant me. Father, grant me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let there be no postponement to my testimony. Let there be no postponement to my miracle. Let there be no postponement to my, to my breakthrough tonight. Let there be no postponement to my victory tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, grant me expeditiously tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. I give you glory. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Uh, if God is going to grant us expeditiously as we have prayed. But there might be some forces. Just like in the days of Daniel. That the prince of Passover which heard the answer to the prayer of, of, of Daniel. Until God sent an angelic reinforcement, you know, the answer to the prayer of Daniel never came true. I want you to pray tonight, if there's any spirit or power or prince of Persia or of Greece or Portoket or Rodaland that wants to delay answer to your prayer tonight, I want God to prove himself in our life tonight that he's a consuming fire. Hallelujah. You're going to say, let the consuming fire of God consume every power. Let the consuming fire of God consume every spirit that wants to delay answers to my prayer tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord, that the consuming fire of God will consume every spirit, will consume every power that wants to delay answers to my prayer tonight. Let the consuming fire of God consume every spirit and every power that wants to delay answers to my prayer tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every prince of Portoket, every prince of of providence, every prince of Rutherland, let him be consumed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, a fire goes before our God and consumes his enemy round about. Let every enemy of progress, let every saboteur, every power, every spirit I want to sabotage the answer to my prayer tonight, let it be consumed by fire. The fire of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, is the word of God not like fire? Let the fire of God consume. Every such spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. I believe in Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 14. God said, My word in your mouth. He said, God says the Lord God of uh, the Lord God of because you speak this, this word. He said, I will make my words in your mouth fire. The word of God in our mouth, God said it will make it fire. And our enemy are like wood. And what does fire do to wood? It consumes, it consumes it, it devours it. I want you to, we are speaking the word of God tonight. Hallelujah. The prayers are based on the word of God. You are going to say, let every enemy of progress, let every spirit and power that wants to delay answer to my prayer tonight be devoured by the word of God coming from my mouth tonight in Jesus name begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ ah, every spirit of power that wants to delay answer to my prayer tonight the word of God in my mouth is fire let the fire of the word of God that's coming out of my mouth tonight devour every opposition to the answers to my prayer tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ any spirit of power that wants to delay my miracle tonight let the word of God coming from my mouth devour them in Jesus name let the word of God it come from my mouth, devour them. In Jesus' name. Father, I will be careful to give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are going to pray. Proverbs 21, verse 12. That God tonight will overthrow. Say overthrow. Mm -hmm. We overthrow their, the wickedness for their wicked. 
He said the righteous go where they consider the house of the wicked, overthrowing the wicked for their wickedness. You're going to say, oh Lord, overthrow the wicked for their wickedness. Uh, concerning my life, I say, oh Lord, overthrow and dismantle every wickedness that I take against my life in Jesus' name. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, Father, overthrow. Overthrow the wicked for, for their wickedness. Overthrow the wicked for their wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You Lord God that overthrew, you know, her man concerning the life of Mordecai, concerning the life of the Israelite. Father, oh Lord, you Lord God that overthrew the, 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 the people conspire against that land. Overthrow, Father, the wicked for their wickedness in my life. Oh Lord, who overthrew the, the, the plan of the brothers of Joseph, ah, concerning the life of Joseph. Father, I pray tonight, overthrow the wicked for their wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, overthrow every scheme, every plan, every purpose of the enemy concerning my life. Overthrow them, Father. Disturb and disrupt and destroy their plan concerning my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, overthrow the wicked for their wickedness. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Psalm 7, verse 9. He said, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. You are going to pray tonight uh, because it's the last Friday night vigil in the month of June 2019. You are going to say, oh Lord, let every form of wickedness directed against my destiny be terminated and come to an abrupt end tonight, right now, in Jesus' name. Begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray in the mighty name that, that every form of wickedness, either spiritual or physical, that has either to be directed against my destiny in any way, shape, or form, that has been directed against my life, ah, let it be terminated right now, right now, as I'm speaking. Let such, let such wickedness be terminated. Let such wickedness come to abrupt an abrupt end in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, bring it to an, an abrupt end. And bring it to a total stoppage. Every form of wickedness that has either to be directed against my life, either physical or spiritual, either financial or emotional, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, do that which only you can do in my life. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are going to pray tonight that according to Psalm 20 verse 4, I told you prayer is, you know, desire turned God word. When you turn your desire to God, it becomes prayer. Hallelujah. He said, may he grant you according to your desire. You are going to pray tonight. Whatever your desire, Father, as I pray tonight, grant me accordingly. He didn't say he's going to grant you according to your brother's desire or according to your sister's desire, according to your own desire. So you're going to talk to God tonight. And as you are praying to God tonight, as you are communicating with God tonight, as you are communing with God tonight, tell him your desire. Because what I know is that he will grant you according to your desire. And God will fulfill your purpose. You're going to say, oh Lord, grant me tonight according to my heart desires. In Jesus' name. I say, oh Lord, fulfill all my purpose for me. In Jesus' name. Begin to pray. Begin to be Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Grant me tonight according to my heart desire. According to my heart desire in the mighty name of Jesus. For your word's sake, Father. For your word's sake, Father. Do as you have said. Do as you have said in your word. Grant me according to my heart desire. My heart desire for deliverance. My heart desire for breakthrough. My heart desire for victory. My heart desire for success and progress. My heart desire for exhortation and promotion. Father, grant me. Ah, my heart desire for the old nine year, Father, of salvation. Of Soteria, Father, grant me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The horse might be prepared for the battle, deliverance of the Lord. Father, grant me tonight, Lord. Grant me, Lord Jehovah. Command victory to my life. The divine solution I'll be clamoring for. The divine solution I'll be believing you for all this way, Father. Grant me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is it not written your word in Psalm 12, verse 5? It said, for the, for, for the case, for the, for the sake of the oppressed, for the for the oppression of the, of the poor uh, for the sign of the needy now I will arise Father arise on my behalf tonight arise O Lord on my behalf tonight and scatter 
every opposition to my breakthrough. Arise, O Lord, let your enemy be scattered. Every enemy of God in my life, every gang up against my destiny, scatter them by fire tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered. Every enemy of God in our life, scatter, be, be scattered by fire tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, arise, O Lord, on our behalf tonight. Do that which only you can do in our life. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. The Bible says God brings out those who are bound to prosperity. Psalm 68 verse 6. All I know is that as this month is coming to an end, God is bringing it to an end. Every form of bondage in our lives. In Jesus' name. Whatever the bondage might be, either emotional bondage, either spiritual bondage, either financial bondage, marital bondage, physical bondage, it does not matter. Bondage is bondage. All I know is that tonight, God is going to use his exceedingly great power on our behalf tonight in Jesus' name. Because once God has spoken, twice I've heard this, that power belongs to God. That power will be used on our behalf tonight in Jesus' name. You're going to say, oh Lord, bring me out of every form of bondage and bring me into prosperity in Jesus name hope your mother begin to pray father tonight is my night father is tonight is my night for my deliverance for my deliverance total emancipation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father bring me out of every form of bondage either mental or spiritual or physical. Father, bring me or financial. It does not matter. Any form of bondage, Father, that the enemy wants to put me tonight, Father, I pray in Jesus' name, bring me out. Bring me out and deliver me, Lord. You brought out Paul and Silas from the prison. You brought Peter out of the prison. You brought Daniel out of the lion's den. You brought Shedder, Mesa, Bedinigo. You brought them out of the fiery furnace. Father, tonight I pray in Jesus' name. Bring me out of every form of bondage and bring me into prosperity. Prosperity of God. Prosperity of God. Divine prosperity. Financial prosperity. Physical prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said not written in your word that in third John 2, you said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Father, tonight, confirm that scriptures in our life. Confirm, confirm that scripture in our life. Father, bring us out of every form of bondage and bring us into prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Maka satayaba. The horse might be prepared for the battle. Deliverance of the Lord. You, Lord God, deliver Joseph from the, from the horrible pit. You deliver him from prison. Father, you deliver him from the house of Potiphar. Father, I pray tonight that you will deliver her. Us. Father, and bring us into prosperity in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I give you glory. I give you honor. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Unless you permit bondage in your life, bondage can never happen in our life. You know, Esau was robbed of his birthright by Jacob and the mother. They colluded. You know, and Esau went to his father, Isaac. He said, uh uh, Daddy, do you just have one blessing? And uh, Isaac told him, in NLT version of the Bible, Genesis 27, verse 40, he said, Where you decide to break free. Tonight, somebody will decide and break free from that bondage, from that oppression, in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, You will live by us. He was telling, he was telling you know, Esau. He said he was going to live by his sword and uh, he would serve his brother. Of course, he served his brother. But did you know that God equally blessed Israel? And he said to him, he said, but where you decide, tonight is a night of decision making. That you have to tell yourself enough is enough with the devil. I have to move forward. Before you know it, on Monday, you are going to be embracing the seventh month of the year. Hallelujah. You are going to pray tonight. You are going to tell God. I'm not being sincere. One of the ways you can have answer, you know, you can, I mean, you can have your desire met is to call upon God in truth. Amen. I want to go to God tonight. I say, Lord, I am deciding tonight to break free from every bondage. You see, when uh, Samson, remember, he was uh, delivered to the Philistines by the Israelites, the book of Judges, they delivered him. 
And uh, they bound him with two brand new ropes. And uh, they deliver him to the, to, the, to, to, the, to, the, to the Philistines. The Bible says in Judges chapter 15, verse 16, and they bound him with two new ropes and brought him up from the rock. But when he came to Lehi, verse 14, uh -uh, the Bible said the Philistines start shouting at him because they saw that he was incapacitated. But the Spirit of God came upon him. And those ropes were, the ropes, the brand new ropes that he was tied with, began to melt like candle before fire. I want you to pray to God tonight that tonight is your night. Tonight I'm deciding to break free from every form of bondage, from every form of oppression, from every form of repression, from every form of suppression, from every form of depression in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like in the case of Esau. Say, where you decide to pray for you. You have to say, in Jesus' name. Say, in Jesus' name. I decide tonight to break free from every form of oppression. I decide tonight to break free from every form of bondage. I decide tonight to break free from every form of prison. In Jesus' name, begin to break out. Begin to break forth. Begin to break out. Tonight is a night of decision. Decision making. Father, I have decided tonight to break free, to break loose, to break out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, from every form of repression, oppression, suppression, rejection, I break free tonight. I break out tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nothing can stop me. Nothing can hold me down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let every shackle, let every fetter, let every rope that the enemy has either told you to tie down our blessing, tie down our finances, break loose right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decide tonight to break free. To break free. Let every rope and shackle and fetters of the enemy in my life begin to melt. Begin to melt tonight like candle before fire. In Jesus' name, as fire melts candle, let such fetters and shackle and shame begin to melt right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let such ropes, let such fetters begin to melt like candle before fire. In For my life tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'll be careful to give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. All the time. Tonight, somebody is going to enjoy divine relief and deliverance. Uh -huh. That was what happened in the life of the Israelites. In Esther chapter 4, verse 14, initially, you know, Esther didn't want to inter you know, inter intercede for the, for, for, the, for the Israelites when they were in Persia. But Mordecai warned her, uh, warned her. He said, if you remain completely silent at this time, in other words, if you don't want to help the Israelites, and you let a man you know, go ahead to do what he wanted to do, to DKA the Israelites, in other words, to destroy, to kill, and, and annihilate the Israelites. He said, guess what is going to happen? He said, relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place. Tonight, I pray that you will enjoy divine relief Amen. and deliverance. Because it is written, Proverbs 21, verse 31, the horse might be prepared for the day of battle. But the deliverance of the Lord. May God deliver us tonight from every scheme of the devil. May God deliver us tonight from every you know, attack of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to pray, Oh Lord, I can't hear you. Grant me relief and deliverance from hardship, from oppression, from repression, from setback. From disappointment in Jesus' name. Begin to ask God tonight to grant to relief. Relief and deliverance. Just like God granted the Israelites. Relief and deliverance. Father, I pray tonight in Jesus' name. The, grant me. Grant me relief. Grant me relief. And grant me deliverance. Grant me relief. And grant me deliverance. From every form of hardship. From every form of oppression. From every form of setback. From every form of disappointment. Father, tonight in Jesus' name. Who said, I Ask it to be given to you. I am asking the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, grant me relief and deliverance from hardship and disappointment and setback. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, grant me, grant me relief and deliverance from oppression, from repression. From mental, from uh, emotional, and, uh, and, uh, and physical torture 
and repression and confusion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Savior, I pray tonight that you grant me relief and deliverance. Relief and deliverance. Just like you did in the life of the Israelites in Parsia. Even the, 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 the gallo that was meant for, for, for Mordecai was the same gallo that they used to kill his enemy in a man law. Father, tonight I pray, grant me relief and deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You, Lord God, that deliver the Israelites. You deliver them from Egypt. You deliver them from Babylon. You deliver them from Persia. Father, grant me tonight relief and deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. The horse might be prepared for the day of battle. But I know deliverance of the law. You are the God of my salvation, Lord. You are the God of salvation. Father, deliver me. Deliver me, Father. By your power, by your mind, by your spirit, by your anointing, Father. Masaka Yabasoto Yebo. Father, deliver my finance. Deliver my life. Deliver my soul. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know the people now, I mean, if you have been watching the news lately, you know. You see that they are talking about repatriation. Reparation, sorry. No, not repatriation. Reparation, you know. That is the money they owe the black people because they brought us here, you know, in, you know, they brought our parents, our forefathers, here, you know, by force. And they put them in slavery. So they are talking. Years back in Nigeria, a man is dead now, Abiola, was talking about that reparation, that the, these people have to pay Africa back some money. Now they are just debating the Senate in the U.S. But tonight, the devil likes to put people in slavery, financial slavery, financial bondage. People working three jobs, working four jobs to make ends meet. And sometimes their take home is not enough to take them home. They are going to pay tonight. Oh Lord, deliver me from financial and emotional slavery. I say, oh Lord, deliver me, deliver my life from physical and spiritual slavery in Jesus' name. Hope your mother begin to pray. Hope your mother begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, tonight I pray, I pray uh, that you deliver me, deliver my life from financial and emotional slavery, from mental torture. Father, deliver me from emotional slavery, from every form of confusion. Father, deliver me tonight. Deliver me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Deliver my life from every physical and spiritual slavery. Deliver me, Lord, totally, complete, total, absolute emancipation from such, you know, enslavement. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, deliver my life, deliver my soul, deliver my spirit from every form of, 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 of oppression, from every form of slavery. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. In Psalm 66, verse 12, this is going to be somebody's testimony. I don't know what to have gone through since the beginning of this year. I'm not minimizing it, you know. But, uh, you know, tonight God is bringing you to, you know, to your own robot in Jesus' name. You know, spaciousness. It's bringing you, it's, God is bringing you tonight to a place of rich fulfillment. That rich fulfillment there is the place of abundance. Uh -huh. The promise of God for us at the beginning of the year was divine overflow. It's still divine overflow. He said our call will overflow with blessings. He mm -hmm. said in, in, in the Apprevive version of the Bible, he said, why did he come to kill, to steal, and to destroy? He said, I come, you know, in order for us, you know, to have life, not only having life, to enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. So it is life more abundantly for us in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. So I want you to pray tonight. Even though, according to that Psalm 66 verse 12, it says you have caused men to ride over our heads. Maybe since the beginning of the year, some people have been riding you. He said, we went through fire and through water. He said, but you brought us out. God is bringing you out tonight. God is delivering you tonight, you know, and is bringing you to your rich fulfillment, a place of abundance in Jesus' name. You're going to say, oh, Lord, let my testimony 
be tonight that I went through fire. I went through water. But now, God has brought me into a worthy place, into a rich place, into a place of abundance. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. Begin to pray. My testimony tonight, Father. From tonight, my testimony is that whatever I went through, uh -huh, that has become history. Uh, Father, from tonight, Father, you are, uh, bring, bring me out. Bring me out. Bring me out, Father, into a rich fulfillment. Into a worthy place, Father. Into my own rehabots. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just like you did in the life of Isaac. Uh, Father, when he was, he, he had the first well, they feed it up. He called it Essek and so on. Father, but lastly, you brought him into a place of spaciousness. Father, bring me to my real boat tonight. My own real boat, Father. A place of abundance. A place of abundance. Let my cup overflow with blessing. Let my blessing, Father, be, be, be to the full till it overflows in Jesus' name. Till it overflows in Jesus' name. Father, I'll be careful to give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Talking of abundance, the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 33, I believe verse 14, hallelujah, hallelujah, no, it's um, maybe 31, 14, 31, 14. It says there, the scripture, I want to quote, said, yeah, this is 31, 14. It said, I will satiate the soul of my priest with abundance. Because this is our year of divine overflow. Overflow means abundance, surplus. God said he will satiate, that is, he will satisfy you, your soul. We are his priests. Revelation 1 6. He said he has made us priests and, and kings. He said, I will satiate the soul of my of the priest with abundance, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness. I want to talk to God tonight. That's what God said. His word will never return to him void. You are going to say, Oh Lord, satisfy me with abundance and your goodness. I say, Oh Lord. Grant me tonight divine abundance and goodness in every aspect of my life. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. Begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father. I pray that you will satisfy my life, satisfy my soul with divine abundance and your goodness. In every aspect of my life, in every facet of my life, Father, satisfy me. Father, grant me abundance in every respect, abundance in every department of my life. Spiritual abundance, financial abundance, physical abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because you said yourself father and I'm asking you all I'm asking you father is to do as you have said you said you will satisfy you will satiate the soul of your priest with abundance and satisfy your people with, with your goodness father let your goodness and divine abundance be my portion be my portion be my portion in the mighty name of Jesus father I'll be careful to give you the glory in Jesus Christ's name we have prayed Amen. Praise the Lord. Whatever you have gone through, Nahum chapter 1 verse 9, affliction will not rise at the second time. Uh-huh. Tonight you are going to declare, because have, God has brought you into a rich fulfillment, you are going to tell God tonight, you are going to pray to him that affliction will never rise a second, time, a second time in my life. I said, what do you conspire against the Lord? He will make another end of it. He said, affliction will not rise up a second time. In other words, whatever we went through in the beginning of the year that simulated, you know, you know, you know, you know, oppression or repression or bondage, it, they are not going to happen again in our life in Jesus' name. You are going to say, I declare and I declare. I am not hearing you. That affliction will not rise a second time. We not rise up a second time in my life. I declare tonight it is finished with troubles and affliction in my life. In Jesus' name, begin to decree and declare. Begin to decree and declare. Ah, from tonight, affliction will not rise a second time in my life. In Jesus' name, Father, whatever I went through at the beginning of the year, that you know that uh, simulated that have uh, that had the appearance of of oppression or depression, no more in my life. No more. They will never rear their ugly heads again in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree tonight and I declare affliction will not rise a second time in my life. Affliction will not rise up a second time in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let every affliction be terminated right now in my life. Papa Yasike Reboso to Yeboho. Terminate every form of affliction in my life, Lord. In Jesus' name, I give you glory. I give you honor. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Since we are already in the book of Nahum, in Nahum chapter 1, 
verse 12. Amen. He said, Thus says the Lord, though they are saved, and likewise many, yet in this manner they will be cut down when, when it passes through. He said, Though I have afflicted you, God said, I will afflict you no more in Jesus' name. No more affliction in our life. In Jesus' name. Look at verse 13. God said in verse 13, He said, For now, when is now? Right now. He said, I will break off his yoke from you and burst your bonds apart. Every yoke in our life must be broken tonight. In Jesus' name. I want to open your side. Oh Lord, break off the yoke of the enemy from my life and burst my bonds apart. In Jesus' name. According to your word, Father, break off from my life the yoke of the enemy. Father, break off from my life every yoke of the enemy. Every physical yoke, every financial yoke, every spiritual yoke. Father, tonight, break them off my life in the mighty name. And burst my bonds apart, Lord, so that I will begin to enjoy your freedom for my life. Father, the liberty that have granted me, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, break the yoke, break the yoke, break the yoke. Every yoke of the enemy be broken from Allah. Both physical and spiritual yoke be broken, be shattered to pieces, be destroyed. In Jesus' name, every yoke, every yoke be destroyed. Break every such yoke from Allah, Father. Whatever has caused a form of limitation in Allah, whatever has caused a form of lead in Allah, Father, break such tonight. In Jesus' name, Set me free tonight. Set me free. The Bible says, When the Son of God says, I said, We shall be free indeed. Father, let there be total freedom for my life. Total liberty. Free from every yoke. Free from oppression. Free from repression. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. I give you glory. I give you honor. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Talking of yoke. Since we are 12, we have started, let's look at Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Because tonight we are, we are coming off, you know, on the other side, free. We are, we are, you know, we are, we are, you know, we are, you know, finishing up with, with uh, June. In two days, no, it's just one day. We're going to be in July, uh, in, uh, in, yeah, in July. Hallelujah. Bible says, it shall come to pass in that day. And today is that day said his body will be taken away from your shoulder. The body, every demonic and every satanic body, they must be taken away from my shoulder tonight. They must be removed tonight by fire, by force. He said, and his yoke from your neck and his yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. You're going to say, let every yoke in my life be destroyed tonight. Let every yoke tonight in my life be removed. Let every body be removed and be destroyed tonight because of the anointing oil. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. Begin to, and I want you to look at your life. Wait, wait, what is that yoke? Be specific with God tonight. Tell God about that yoke. Is, is it a spiritual yoke? Is it a physical yoke? Is it barrenness? Is it, is it you know, financial difficulty? Whatever is a yoke in your life tonight, talk to God about that yoke. He said, cast all your body upon me if I care for you. Father, I pray tonight that every yoke and every body in my life be, will be removed. Removed by force, by fire, Lord. Every yoke and every body, removed from my life. Every satanic and every demonic yoke and body, Remove them from my life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And destroy because of the anointing of God upon my life. Rabba, is it not said, touch not my anointed? He said, do my prophet know how. Let every yoke and everybody be removed from my life and be destroyed by fire. By fire. Because the word of God is fire. And the word of God in my mouth is fire. Let every yoke, everybody, mama, 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 shakaya, whatever the enemy has seen that to used to limit me in any way, shape, or form. Let it be broken tonight. Let it be destroyed tonight. By the reason of the anointing oil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Break the yoke of the enemy from my life. And destroy such yoke, Father. Bust my bones apart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I'll be careful to give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sometimes, you know, you know, the devil likes to put stopping block in the path of people. Somebody wants to make progress. The devil will hinder that person. That is why the Bible says in uh, Isaiah 57 verse 14, it said, take the stomach block out of the way of my people. 
take the stumbling block out of the way of my people. Every stumbling block tonight, the Lord God will take them out of our way in Jesus' name. If they want to refuse to go, how will they even refuse to go when God is taking something out? But for adventure, God just wants the, the stumbling block to become the stepping stone to our breakthrough. Hallelujah. In the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 13, you will see Paul. Paul wanted, you know, that was a liar. Paul said, now I do not want you to be unaware, brethren, that I often plan to come to you. He wanted to go and visit them in Rome. He said, but was hindered until now. The devil hindered Paul. So if the devil could hinder Paul, who are you? And what was the, why did the devil do that? So that Paul would not have fruit in Rome, just as he had among the Gentiles. In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 18, you will see how the devil oppressed. The Bible said, therefore, we wanted to come to you, to Thessalonica. Even I, Paul, time and again, he tried and tried and tried. He wanted to go there. He said, but Satan hindered us. I want you to pray tonight. If, 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 if Satan could hinder Paul, hmm, who are you? You are going to pray tonight. You are going to say, let every hindrance, let every hindrance to my breakthrough be destroyed tonight. In Jesus' name, open your mouth and begin to pray. Any hindrance to my breakthrough, Father, I pray tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Every form of hindrance that has either to worked against my life, worked against my destiny, I command such tonight to be destroyed. I command such tonight to be consumed by fire of the Almighty God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In any way, shape, or form that the devil has either to hindered me, tonight is the end to such hindrance in my life. Therefore, I pray in Jesus' name, let every such hindrance be destroyed by fire. Let every such hindrance be consumed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No more hindrance in my life. I am hindrance free tonight. In the mighty, nothing can limit me. Nothing can stop me. Let every hindrance, every satanic, every demonic hindrance in my life be destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. To you alone be that glory. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. You know, we started by saying that, uh, you know, uh, the desire of the righteous will be granted. Amen? Aha. Uh -huh. Tonight, I want us to now, you know, open, you know, go, go to the second page, go to the second part of our prayer tonight. Psalm 145, verse 16. I want to tell God tonight. Go back to God and tell him tonight is your night. Your heart desire tonight. Let God open the sun. And if I were you, I would be specific in telling him what my desires are. It's, the Bible says in that Psalm 145, verse 16, it says, You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. I am a living thing. So God has to satisfy my desire tonight. He said in verse 19 of that scripture, He said, The Lord God he fulfills the desire of those who fear Him. Uh huh. You are going to tell God to lie. Oh Lord, open your hand tonight on my behalf and satisfy and fulfill all my heart desires. In Jesus' name, begin to pray and tell God your heart desire tonight. Tell him exactly, tell him specifically your heart desire. And as you call upon God tonight and as you tell him your heart desire tonight, I declare to you they are granted. They are granted. They are granted to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because it is written in Psalm 20 verse 4. It said, may he grant you according to your heart desire. It is equally written in Psalm 37 verse 4. It said, delight in the law. The, your attendance tonight tells me you delight yourself in the law. He said, it shall give you the desires of your heart. Father, open your heart tonight, Father. And satisfy and grant us all our desire. Grant us our desire. Grant us as we begin to enumerate our desire to you tonight, as we begin to tell you one by one, Father, Lord, begin to grant us accordingly. Grant us accordingly tonight. 
Papa Yeso to ye bo karabashata. Mazo to ye kerebo santo ye kerebo satayaba. Mazikerebo shatu ke sete ye bo kariba. Mazaka santo robo sete. How are these are tonight, Father? Our word is out tonight, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, grant us accordingly, Lord. Grant us accordingly, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rike poso to ye bo ri ba 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 ba. Our word is out for breakthrough. Our word is out for success and progress. Father, grant us in the mighty name of Jesus. Make rebo shata ya ba 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 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We'll be careful to give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Is prosperity your desire? I want to go to God tonight. Third John 2 that we quoted earlier, it said in King James Version of the Bible, it said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in earth, even as our soul prospers. You are going to say, it is my desire, O Lord. I can't hear you. It is my desire, O oh Lord, to prosper. Cause me to prosper in every aspect of my life. Send your prosperity into my life in Jesus' name. Hope your mother begin to pray. It's my desire, Father. It's my desire to prosper, Father. Father, grant me. Grant me according to my desire, Father. Grant me according to my desire, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grant me according to my desire, Father. In Jesus' name. Makutorobo sheteyebo. Papaya kariba satayaba. Grant me according to my desire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ye kerebo sheteyebo. Rabba satayaba. He kiriba baba 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 shekebo. Grant me my desire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Masike pori basanta yaba. It's my desire, Father, to prosper. It's my desire, Father, prosper me in every facet of my life, in every department of my life. Spiritual prosperity, physical prosperity, financial prosperity, let there be my portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, since it is written that you will grant me according to my desire, Father, grant me accordingly. Father, do as you have said, Father. Fulfill my purpose, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my purpose for prosperity in every area, in every aspect of my life, Father, tonight, fulfill it Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, I'll be careful to give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. In Psalm 118, verse 25, I believe. Amen. It says, Save now, I pray, oh Lord. Oh Lord, I pray. Send now prosperity. You're going to say, Save now, I pray, oh Lord. Oh Lord, I pray. Send now prosperity into my life into my family in jesus name begin to pray begin to pray in the mighty name of jesus christ father save me save my family right, right now oh lord my cassette yebo send prosperity into every aspect of my life send prosperity into every department of my life in the mighty name of jesus christ my save now i pray oh lord Oh Lord, I pray, send now prosperity into my life. Send prosperity to our family. Send prosperity to every department of our life. According to your word, Father. Because it's our desire. It's our desire to prosper. Father, you say, and the desire of the righteous will be granted. Grant us our desire for prosperity tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. If it's your desire to be blessed, all I know is that the blessing of God make it rich, and the Bible says he had no sorrow. You are going to talk to God tonight. It's your desire to be blessed. What does God say? God says in the Hebrew chapter 6, verse 14, he says, surely blessing, I will bless you. He said, multiply, I will multiply you. What does God say concerning blessing? God says, blessing crown the head of the righteous. Uh -huh. What does God say concerning blessing? He says in Ezekiel 34, 26, he said, I will make them and the places around my hill a blessing. He said, I will cause shower to come in their season. He said, there shall be showers of blessing. I want to go to God tonight and say, oh Lord, it is my desire and my prayer to be blessed. I say, oh Lord, bless me. In all things, bless every aspect of my life as you bless Abraham. I say, Oh Lord, bless and multiply my finance in Jesus' name. Begin to pray. 
begin to pray if it's your desire to be blessed. Ah, Father, you said, surely bless I will bless you. Multiply, I will multiply you. Father, tonight, this is my desire. It's my desire to be blessed. It's my desire to be blessed. It's my desire to be a blessing. Father, bless and multiply my finance, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, do as you have said. Do accordingly as you have said, Father. Lord, since it is written, Father, that you open your hand and you satisfy the desire of every living thing. Father, satisfy my heart desire for blessing tonight. Crown my head with your blessing, Father. Enrich my life with your blessings, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, bless me as you bless Abraham. The Bible says in Genesis 24 verse 1, it says Abraham was not old and when advanced in age, and God has blessed him in all things. Father, bless me in everything, in all things spiritual and temporal. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, bless my family, bless my children, bless my loved ones. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, bless us, Father, in every face of our life. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Is it your desire to be healed? If it's your desire to be healed. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33, verse 6, it said, I will bring it earth and healing. It said, behold, I will bring it earth and healing. God said in that same, uh, is it Jeremiah? He said, uh, uh, Isaiah 30, verse 17, he said, I will, I will restore earth unto thee. And, uh, no, no, no. Uh, Jeremiah 30, 17, he said, I will, I will, uh, uh, I will restore enter the door and heed thee of your wound. You are going to tell God tonight. Those are your words. If it's your desire to be healed, in any part of your body that is pain right now, or you, I mean, you are having one issue or the other, since God said it, you must tell him what he has said concerning you. And he has said, and the desire of the righteous will be granted. And I have said that he will grant you according to your desire. You are going to tell God, Oh Lord, it is my heart desire and my prayer tonight to be healed from the crown of my head to my toes. Oh Lord, grant me according to my heart desire. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Father, it's my desire tonight to be healed. To be healed. To be healed. To be healed. To enjoy divine health. To enjoy divine healing. Tonight, Father, from the crown of my head to my toes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior, heal me accordingly. Heal me accordingly. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is my desire, Father, to be healed. It is my desire, Father, to be healed. Father, heal me, Lord. Heal me, O Lord, I'll be healed. Save me, O Lord, I'll be saved. You are my praise, Father. Father, let every cell, every tissue, every organ in my body respond to the word of God. For the Bible says, you sent forth your word and your word healed there. Father, it's my desire tonight to be healed. Father, grant me divine health and healing. Divine health and healing. Divine health and healing. Divine health and healing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. I give you glory. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. You will live long. The Bible says in Isaiah 65 verse 20. Amen. He said, no more shall an infant from there live but a few days. Now an old man who has not fulfilled his days, you are going to fulfill your destiny. In Jesus' name. If that's your desire, you're going to tell God tonight. That is your desire to live long and live well and to fulfill your destiny. He said, no more shall a small child, a, 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 a small, I mean, an infant there live for a few days. No more infant mortality or whatever, nothing like that. He said, an old man who has no fulfilled his He said, for the child shall die 100 years old. We are going to live long and live well in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 2. If I begin from verse 1. He said, my son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my command. Look at what he said in verse 2. He said, for length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. I'm going to live long and live well. That's my desire. If that's your desire, you say it to yourself and you tell God tonight. It's your desire, you know. Look at verse, uh, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 11. 
He said, for by me your days will be multiplied and years of life will be added to you. If you so desire to live long and live well, you are going to tell God to now. It's my heart desire, Father, to live long and live well. Bible says we shall not die but live to declare the work of God. Hallelujah. You are going to say, it's my heart desire, O Lord, to live long and live well. I say, O Lord, grant me long life, length of days, longevity, in Jesus' name, begin to pray. I shall not die but live to declare the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant of death concerning my life is cancelled. It's annulled. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Man Sakayaba. I will fulfill my destiny. In the to the constellation of the devil. Man Mama Shatayaba Seteyebo. Masurobo Sheteyebo. I will live long. I will live well. Abraham lived long. He lived well. Ah, ah, Father. Ah, the blessing of Abraham. They are upon my life. They are upon my life, Father. In I'm going to live long and I'm going to live well. I'm going to fulfill in vitality and prosperity of God. To the ripe old age, my eyes will not dim in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant of death is annulled. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You see, your desire for breakthrough? Uh-huh. You have come to meet the master of breakthrough tonight. Jesus Christ is the master of breakthrough. Second Samuel chapter 5, verse 20. Hallelujah. Baparazim. The word Baparazim there is the master of breakthrough. Hallelujah. You are going to break through. You are going to break out in Jesus' name. Uh-huh. So, uh, uh, um, Micah chapter 2, verse 13. Amen. You know, the Bible says the one who breaks open will come up before them. The only one who can break through is Jesus Christ himself. He's the master of breakthrough. He said the one who breaks break through shall, shall come up before them. He said they will break out. You are going to break out. You are going to break through in Jesus' name. So you are going to tell God tonight, if it's your so, I desire to break through. You know, one day Peter... In Luke chapter 5, he toyed, toyed, toyed all night. He didn't catch nothing, no fish. But when he had that encounter with the Lord Jesus, he caught so much fish that his, his net began to tear. He had to beckon to his other fishermen, come and help me, come and help me. Breakthrough. You are going to enjoy breakthrough in Jesus' name. You are going to say, in Jesus' name, it's my prayer and my heart desire to enjoy breakthrough in every aspect of my life. I say, oh Lord, grant me my desire tonight for financial breakthrough, for spiritual breakthrough, and physical breakthrough. Begin to pray if it's your desire. If it's your desire to break through. Father, I pray tonight. Ah, it's my desire and my prayer, Lord, that I will break through. Father, in every aspect of my life, Lord, my casata, grant me breakthrough, all around breakthrough, Father. All around breakthrough, Father. All around breakthrough. Spiritual, physical, financial, emotional, mighty, ministry wise. Father, grant me all around breakthrough, Lord. Because it's my prayer and it's my desire. Grant me accordingly, Lord. Because it is written, may he grant you according to our desire and fulfill your purpose. Father, that's my purpose tonight. That's my desire tonight. Grant me accordingly. You are not a man that you should lie, nor a son of man that should repair. That is your word, Father. For your word's sake, Father, grant me my breakthrough tonight. Grant me my breakthrough tonight. Grant me my breakthrough tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I give you glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. If it's your desire for, for victory, you are going to tell God tonight that it's your desire. Because, and he said, the light of the Lord, he will grant you uh, your desire, the desire of your heart. He said in Psalm 44, verse 4, he said, command victory to Jacob. You are going to remove Jacob's name and put your name there. He said that in first, in first John 5, 4, he said, whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. If it's your desire to be victorious over life challenges, over every storm of life, over every attack, tell God tonight. And the desire of the righteous will be granted. That's all I know. That's what God said. You're going to say, oh Lord, 
It is my heart desire and my prayer to be victorious in life. Oh Lord, grant me according to my heart desire. Command victory into every aspect of my life. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. Begin to pray for financial, spiritual and financial victory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, if this is your desire, Father, ah, Father, I pray to now. It's my desire and my prayer. It's my desire and my prayer to be victorious in every aspect of my life. That victory will be my portion in every facet, in every department of my life. Father, grant me according to my desire. Since you said yourself that you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. Father, Father, I pray tonight in, the, in Jesus' name that you grant me according to my desire. My desire for victory in every aspect. Father, command victory to my life, Father. Spiritual victory, financial victory, physical victory. Father, Lord, tonight, command victory into my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I be careful, Father, to give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Is it your idea for promotion? Psalm 75, verse 6 says, Promotion comes from another west, not from this, not from the south, but from God, who is the judge. I want you to talk to God tonight to command, you know, and grant you promotion in every aspect of life. To exalt your horn like a white horse. The same God who promoted Joseph in Egypt. And Joseph became the prime minister in the highest, greatest civilization of his time. The same God who promoted the gate man in Mordecai to become the second command to King Ahasuerus. The same God who promoted Esther and Osman to become the queen in Persia. We promote you tonight in Jesus' name. If that's your desire to be promoted. Hallelujah. You're going to say, in Jesus' name, it is my desire for promotion. Oh, Lord, promote, exhort, and advance me in this nation. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. If it's your desire, Father, it's my desire, Father, for promotion in this land. My desire for exhortation in every aspect of my life, both spiritual and physical. Father, Lord, you, Lord God, who promoted Joseph. You, Lord God, who promoted Mordecai. You, Lord God, who promoted Janet. You, Lord God, who promoted Esther. Father, promote, exhort, and advance me in this land. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's my heart desire. It's my prayer, Father, for promotion. Father, promote and exhort me. Father, promote and exhort me. Father, promote and exhort me. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'll be careful, Father, to give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Is it your heart desire to have all your needs met? If it's your heart desire, Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, the Bible says, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I want you to listen to that scripture. Look at that scripture. You know, that scripture is saying, And my God shall supply all according to his riches in glory. The Bible didn't say, Out of his riches in glory. But according to his riches and glory. If somebody is a millionaire and uh, that person decides to give you $10, he's a millionaire, he has a million dollar, but he's giving you $10. That person is giving you out of his riches, out of his riches. But if somebody is a millionaire and decides to give you $100,000, he's giving you according to his riches. And that's what God is doing in our life. He's not giving out of his riches. He's giving according to his riches. And if you know how, God rich, how, how rich God is, the Bible tells us in, uh, in Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, it said, God is God Almighty. I am Almighty God. That word Almighty is El Shaddai, the all-powerful, the all-sufficient God. God who can meet anybody's need at any time. Tonight, if it's your desire for your needs to be met, not out of God's riches, but according to his riches in glory, God is going to meet your need in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. The same God who made the need of the widow of uh, Sarifat, the same Lord God who made the need of that widow with a jar of oil, will meet your need in Jesus' name. You're going to say, it is my desire, O oh Lord, to have all my needs met. Father, grant me and meet all my need 
according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name. Grant me, O oh Lord, divine provision. In Jesus' name. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Ah, Father, tonight is my heart desire and my prayer. My heart desire and my prayer. My heart desire and my prayer to have all my needs met. All my spiritual needs. All my financial needs. All my emotional needs. All my physical needs met, Father. Ah, it's my heart desire, Father. Father, meet and grant me all my heart desire. Ah, according to your, uh, you know, according to your word, Father. Ah, for, because it is written, Lord, you open your hand and you satisfy the desire of every living thing, Father. Open your hand tonight and grant me my heart desire. My heart desire to have all my needs met. Father, the young lamb is so far want and hunger. Father, Lord Jehovah, Father, supply all my needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. You, Lord God, have fed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fishes. Father, supply all my needs according to your riches in glory. You, Lord God, have provided money out of the mouth of the fish, Father. Supply all my needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Father, this is my prayer. This is my expectation. This is my desire tonight. And the desire of righteousness will be granted the expectation of the poor shall not be cut off. Father, grant me accordingly tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Did you not say your word, Father? Psalm 37 verse 4. Delight yourself also in the Lord. He will grant to you your heart desire. Father, grant me my heart desire tonight. And I'll be careful to give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is it your heart desire for divine help? The hand of God shall become your help in Jesus' name. Psalm 119, verse 173. The hand of God will become your help. Hallelujah. If that's your heart desire for divine help. In Psalm 20, verse 2, it said, May he grant you help from the sanctuary. Hallelujah. I want you to, if it's your heart desire for divine help, you want God to help you. What does the Bible say? Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalm 60, verse 11 or so, it said, it said, it said, he said, grant us, give us help from trouble, for the help of man is useless. If it is your heart desire for divine help tonight, cry to God and ask God to grant you your heart desire for divine help. Tell him tonight, Lord, it's my heart desire, it's my prayer that you will grant me my, I mean, divine help. Oh Lord, grant me, I come to my heart desire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, tonight it's my prayer and it's my heart desire, Father. My prayer and my desire is for me to receive divine help, Father. I look up to the hills from where come my help. My help can only come from the Lord who is the maker of the heavens and the earth, Father. I pray tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your hand become my help. Let your hand become my help in every aspect of my life. Father, tonight I pray that you will send me help from the sanctuary. Father, I pray, Lord Jehovah, send me help from the throne of grace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is nothing for you to help, Father, after with those who are men or those who are few, Father. Let no man, let no woman prevail against you in my life, Father. Let your own very hand, Lord. The very hand of God tonight, I pray that your hand will become my help in every aspect of my life. Father, I'll be careful to give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter chapter 2 verse 16. The Bible says God, he said, for indeed God does not give aid to angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham. If it's your desire to enjoy divine financial aid, you are going to tell God tonight. The Bible equals God to tell, tells us, he tells us in uh, Hebrews 4 16. He said we should come boldly you know, to the throne of grace that we will obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. If it's your desire tonight, we are going to repray that prayer for divine help. Bible says God does not even give aid to angels. But who does God give aid to? To the seed of Abraham. And I want you to know we are the seed of Abraham. So I'm going to pray, oh Lord, it's my prayer and my desire tonight to receive and enjoy divine help in every aspect of my life. Oh Lord, let your hand become my help in this nation. 
In Jesus' name. Hope your mother pray once again. Father, it's my desire and my prayer. Father, to enjoy divine help in this land. Father, Lord, grant me, grant me, grant me, Father, divine help, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, grant me according to my desire. Fulfill my purpose for divine help, Father, in this land. Lord Jehovah, I need divine help, Father. Because the help of man is useless. Grant me divine help in this land. Grant me divine help in this nation. According to your word, Lord. According to your word, Father. Let your hand become my help. In Jesus' name. Thank Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Is it your heart desire to for profit for divine profit? Isaiah forty-eight verse seventeen. He said, "Thou says the Lord God, your Redeemer, the only one of Israel." Same as the Lord God who teach you to profit. You are going to tell God tonight, Lord, it's my heart desire, you know, to to profit in this nation. Make my coming to America profitable in every aspect of my life. Spiritual, physical, financial. If it is your desire, talk to God. Because he said it is, it is the Lord that teaches you how to profit. You are going to say, in Jesus' name, it is my prayer and my desire to, 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 to make profit in America. Oh Lord, make America profitable for me. Make America profitable for my family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. If it's your desire, it's not compulsory. If it's not our desire, just stay quiet there. But it's my desire, Father. Father, to make profit in this country. Papa Yesu Teyebo Kariba, Father, made this country profitable for me and my family. In every respect, in every regard, in every aspect, in every facet, in every department of our life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, make America profitable for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, make this land profitable for us, Father, because you are our redeemer. You are our provider, you are our supplier, you are our maintainer, you are our sustainer, you are our all in all. In you we live, in you we move, in you we have our being, Father. May this now profitable for us in every facet of our life, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Talking about profitability, let us talk about fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said in John 15, 16, he said, you do not choose me, he said, I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should remain. God wants us to be fruitful. Hallelujah. Bible actually says, by their fruit shall know them. You are going to tell God tonight, make me fruitful in this nation. It is my desire. It is my prayer. It is my hope and expectation to be fruitful in this nation. Oh Lord, make me fruitful in every aspect of my life. Banish barrenness from my life. In Jesus' name, hope your mother begin to pray. Hope your mother begin to pray. It is my desire and prayer, Father, that I will be fruitful in this nation. Father, Lord Jehovah, make me fruitful in America. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, banish from my life every form of barrenness, either spiritual or temporal. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is my desire and my prayer, Father, to be fruitful in this nation. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful in every face set in every aspect of my life. Make me fruitful, Father. Make me fruitful, Father. Let fruitfulness be my portion. Make me fruitful. Make me fruitful, Father. Rebook barrenness for my life. Make me fruitful, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Papa I'll be careful to give you all the glory. I'll be careful to give you all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is it your desire to succeed? Uh huh. You are going to talk to God. What does God say? You know, in Genesis 24, verse 12, the servant of, uh, of Abraham, uh, he said, Oh Lord God of my master Abraham, said, Give me success this day. You are going to tell God, Give me success in this land. It's my desire to succeed in life. It's my desire to succeed in whatever I lay my hand. He said, We are like a tree that's planted by the seed of water that brings forth its food in the seasons, whose leave do, you know, leaves do not wither. He said, Whatever they do, they prosper. You're going to tell God, Lord, it's my desire for success, hallelujah, and progress in this land. As I'm you know, finishing the six months of the year, Lord, Father, grant me according to my desire. 
My heart desire for success and progress. Father, grant me accordingly. In Jesus' name. Hope your mother begin to pray. Father, it's my heart desire. It's my prayer, Father, for success. Father, success and progress. You told Joshua. You said this book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. Joshua one eight. On it shall meditate night and day, and they observe to do according to whatever is therein. In order to make your way prosperous and in order for you to have good success. Father, I pray. It's my heart desire. It's my prayer in this nation. Father, for success ah, and progress, Father, grant me, grant me according to my heart desire. My heart desire for progress and success. Father, grant me accordingly. Grant me accordingly. Grant me accordingly. And the desire of the righteous will be granted. Father, grant me my desire for progress and success in every aspect of my life, in every facet of my life. Father, I'll be careful to give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Uh, is it your desire to see your enemy stumble and fumble? Is it your desire to see your enemy lick the dust under your, the sole of your feet? You're going to say, oh Lord, it's my heart desire to see my enemy lick the dust under my feet. Oh Lord, grant me according to my heart desire. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. Begin to pray. It's my heart desire. All those who are incensed against me, Father, Lord, let them become non existent. It's my heart desire for them to perish at the book of God's countenance. It's my heart desire, Father, that all my enemies, they begin to lick the dust under my feet. That you will give me the neck of my enemy, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is my heart desire, Father. Grant me accordingly. Grant me accordingly, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Is it your desire to, for God to scatter every gang up against your, against your life? Every gang up against our life. Bible says, let God arise and let the enemy be scattered. God said that, uh, that, uh, that uh, every confederacy, every conspiracy against us will scatter. I want you to tell God tonight, it's my desire to see you know, that every gang up against my life be scattered. Every confederacy, every conspiracy. I'm going to tell to God, it's my desire, oh Lord, scatter them by fire. In Jesus' name, open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, it's my desire to see every gang up against my life to be scattered by fire. Scatter them, Father, every gang up, every confederacy, every conspiracy against my life. Father, scatter by fire. Wherever my name is being mentioned for evil, scatter them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every opposition to my breakthrough, Father, scatter them by fire. Scatter them by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, scatter them by fire. Let God arise on my behalf tonight and scatter every opposition to my breakthrough by fire. Father, I'll be careful to give you all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. I'm going to give you three minutes to pray over your hand desire we have not covered tonight. You know, talk to God about every hand desire we have not covered tonight. Talk to God about, you know, those areas of your life where you need divine solution tonight. Talk to God. Talk to God. Three minutes. Talk to him. That God, these are all that area. These are all that desires that I'm believing you for. That this your servant has not covered tonight. But according to Psalm 38 verse 9, you know, all our desires are before him. And he knows about our son. Begin to talk to God tonight. Begin to talk to God tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Talk to God tonight. All I know is that and the desire of the righteous will be granted. <laughs>